We are going to Shawanaga First Nations, Ojibwe Territory. There's uh, the fire keepers. Alright, there we go. Uh, hello everybody. Today August 20 uh, Shawanaga Nations Reserve Pow Wow. Welcome. Hello, my name is Ron Mitus. Uh, we're at the Pow Wow Grounds and uh, what I'll be doing is I'm selling flutes and I'm also selling the red feather product. And if you pan over here, that there's where the fire keepers are. And if you look over there, you can see that they have an eagle staff, which is the, the native national flag. And then as you pan around this way, this will be the arbor. And in there is where the drummers are. And people will be dancing all around on this side. <laughs> I think um, you know that they 
you know, they don't really have a, a lot of power these days. You know, there's probably a couple other powers going on this weekend at the same time. And they're really, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of fun. You know, if you're either, you know, a powwow you know, junkie like us and, you know, to sing, dance and, dance, uh, you know, get to see what's going on and learn something or meet new people and see old friends, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> My name is Tony, and uh, I'm from the Potawatomi Nation. I, I, I make flutes for a living, and uh, I want to share a story about the Native American flutes. First one I'm going to share is um, the, when a young warrior, when it was time for him to take his position or to prove himself he had to leave the village and go make one of these back then this was considered as a tool and the warrior used these two different ways one he used it to entice his future mate that's how we got our courting flutes uh, what, that, what that is is um, how well the warrior played the flute if the woman liked it after the sunset they go now the next one I'm going to I'm going to share this one is not shared too much it is because that we don't do no more battle when a warrior went to battle and because of the violence and all the killing taking place and especially seeing his friend die his heart would get really heavy and um, he would take this flute and uh, he would blow into this releasing the heaviness that he's carrying and the sound that came back to him would comfort his heart and eventually bring healing to him. Now, the Native American flute almost died out due to the Western world of music. In order for the Native American flute to survive, it had to adapt the diatonic scale. And this one has a diatonic scale. That's not mine. But the <laughs> and uh, then they sound something like this. This one's in, in D. And Desiree, what do you uh, what do you dance? I dance the fancy shawl. Fancy shawl, and yeah. what else you say? Uh, jingle. <laughs>
what message would you have for young young women? Young women? Uh, young, young native ladies, like girls in your age. Or... The message yeah. I would send to young women around my age who are Aboriginal, um, learn more about your culture, you know, get to know the language a little bit more, talk to your elders a lot more. You'll learn a lot, like you find out lots. And I wasn't really like, my mom raised me to be more like, um, religious and traditional and it wasn't until uh, Wes and Leona Weetung came to our reserve and they bring the uh, the strawberry, like the fast, in the berry fast, the uh, um, fasting, sweat lodges and all that and I think like my first time I was like what is that lodge over there right like what is that and then it wasn't until the day that I, like actually came he's like well run home get your uh, shorts and like a tank top or something really like to go into the sweat and that was my first time ever going like into something traditional like that and uh, I really liked it and then that's when I was like you know I'm getting more curious and more curious and then that's when um, like a lot of like my elders that's when I started talking to them and uh, I was learning the language in school but I wasn't like using it very like a lot because my mom was like every Sunday we go to church and everything and um, yeah, once I got to know the language and everything, now I'm just full traditional. I, like, I've pretty much almost gone atheist. Like, I am, like, straight traditional. Um, I even got a tattoo because I want to carry it on my body for the rest of my life to never, ever forget. And I just, like, I don't know. That's the message I said in All right. Thank you very much. We'll talk to you later. Hey, I remind you, if any woman walks up to you and asks you to dance, and you say no, you're going to pay her five dollars. Hey, so it could cost you. So get up there and have a good time. Everybody grab a partner, this is a lot of fun. Hey, you know back in the day, well we better not go there. Hey.